Just have a look at this here, so powerful. The video. Touring, touring, touring. Hey what's up beautiful people welcome to a new day and a new vlog as you guys know from the title today we are going to fix the ox lights for the panther and yeah the brand that i'm going with is uh, mad dog alpha and the reason behind that is actually there's a much cheaper option and you guys might be knowing that there's a brand called uh, hjg which is much much cheaper than this but you know i don't want to go into that because there are many duplicate products uh, that come in HJG and uh, I'm not sure whether I'll be able to find out which is the original one and which is the duplicate version. And uh, the main thing is I don't want to risk uh, fixing the duplicate version to the bike because you know, suppose if it affects some electrical parts or something like that, it's going to be a huge bill. Obviously, BMW parts are not cheap. So yeah, I don't want to risk it. And that's why I'm going with the Mad Dog series and there are many mad dog uh, ox lights available in the market but the reason why i'm going with the alpha is th they are the most brightest uh, uh, lights in the mad dog series and you know mad dogs are made in india and they also offer a very de good amount of light and the technical details about the ox lights i mean the mad dog alpha and everything the price everything i'll be sharing it to you once i reach the shop yeah uh, i'll be i'm going to the motor drift uh, that's there i think in sarjapur road i'm not sure i'll also give a google map link in the description if you guys are interested i've installed most of the things the bark busters and most of the things on the bike from motor drift bangalore itself so yeah i'll also be doing a night test to see the brightness so stay tuned one hour later even in weekends Bangalore traffic is wow and uh, they are making Bangalore a smart city and they are digging up all the roads at a time and you know it's so difficult here every damn road is closed how are we supposed to even travel man So yeah, these are the Mad Dog Alpha Performance Auxiliary Lights and as you can see it's a uh, 80 watt, yeah, it's an 80 watt and it produces 9600 raw luminous, lumens, so yeah, this is the main uh, aux lights, let me try to open this, this is the opening here. Okay. So you get uh, Mad Dog stickers and then yeah, these are the lights. This is some document I think, instruction manual. So along with this, let me keep this aside, we have to buy a, what is this here, switch pro, yeah this is the switch pro, it's a waterproof uh, switch that comes with uh, waterproof connectors also. So since uh, these are the top of the line in Mad Dog, we have to pull uh, every accessories for this light should be also pro versions of it and these uh, these are the clamps i guess yeah these are the clamps that go onto the bike and then these are the wires yeah these are the wires wire oh these are the wire harness pro that's also pro version uh, let me open this so you can see video so 
these are the wire harness pros and then we get the clamps okay so yeah the lights have been fixed and uh, see one guy is already checking the bike <laughs> so yeah these are the mad dog alphas so let me show you the power so these are the most uh, yeah right now this is not the right time to show Your the video rider. touring 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 that's your ah, ah. go on to bike yeah road. yeah yeah so this is how it is these are the most powerful and i'll be showing you at night times also how is the throw and you know everything yeah this costed me almost 15000 approximately so yeah Basically, for off-road, long tour. Ah, I'll show you guys how is the throw and everything uh once it's completely dark and uh, all the time is now 1:30 pm so I'll see you guys during the night time this is the most darkest place i could find near my house so yeah let's check the brightness of the alphas but before that uh you could you guys might have seen that i had an yellow filter but now i changed it to you know a transparent one so it's going to be it's going to basically it's going to be white in color the main reason is i just uh, you know like white colors i prefer that so that's the main reason i think uh, apart from that so first i'll be showing the stock uh, bmw lights both the low beam and the high beam and then we'll be seeing the mad dog alphas oh let this vehicle pass so yeah, let's start the engine So these are the normal DRLs. Let me put it in neutral. Yeah. So these are the low beam lights, and this is the high beam, and this is the alphas. You see, so bright. Just look at the brightness. I mean, it's super bright. Just have a look at this. Yeah, so powerful. Throw is actually lit up. So let me do that again. Low beam, high beam, and the mad dog alphas. Wow, super! I think this side of the light I have to adjust it a bit. You know, a little bit on the upper side so that you know it, the throw will be uniform. Yeah, but other uh, yeah, other than that, it's super bright. Yeah, it's super bright. So yeah, that's it for the video, guys. I hope you like this video. and if any of you guys were interested in buying mad dog alphas and uh, this was a very good informative video for you guys then what you can do for me is subscribe to the channel and share this with your friends so that uh, you know they'll get a good idea of how this mad dog alphas look i mean how much is the brightness and all those kind of stuff you guys know what to do share the video like the video and subscribe to the channel catch you in the next one
Peace.